Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, summary. This is for crystal structures. I'm going to make a table. Okay, this table will have atoms per unit cell. It will have coordination number. It will have length, and it will have volume. Okay. Here we go, let's fill in this table. Uh, I'm just going to go over the summary. Ideally, you could visualize this, or if you have a question on visualizing it, just let me know afterwards, we can go over it. But, uh, so I derived these just by visualizing these, otherwise you have to memorize it. So I'd encourage you, if you can, uh, to just, uh, you know, draw them out, try to visualize them. By the way, which one of these are, which two of these are the same? Yeah, these two here are identical. CCP cubic closed packed and FCC face centered cubic are the same. SC is simple cubic, uh, BCC body centered cubic, HCP hexagonal closed packed. Okay, coordination number, let's do those. Six, eight, 12, 12, 12. Can you have a coordination number larger than 12? No. No. That's not possible. Okay. Now let's do length. Uh, I'm just going to give you the summary. You have to derive them yourself if you wonder where they come from. 2R. Uh, let's see. Uh, FCC should be... Um, did I get that right? Yeah. Yeah, this is 4R over We don't do it for these usually unless your instructor is really cruel. And volume is length cubed. So it's it's everything here cubed. 2R cubed, R root 8 cubed, and 4R over root 3 cubed. On my exam, I give you these, but I don't tell you which one's which. Okay? So I'll give you these, but you don't know which one's which. I give you nothing else. These three, the length column. But I don't tell you which one's which. Okay, now, a couple other things you have to know. To do a density problem, of course you have to know the formula for density, and mass always follows the following. If you know the atoms per unit cell, you multiply by Avogadro's number, actually divide, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, atoms, per mole. Now you notice you have moles per unit cell. So it's like a conversion problem. And then if you multiply by the molar mass, whatever it is, you'll have grams per unit cell, which is the unit you want for mass. For volume, you just use this volume column. And then you have to know some conversions. So uh, the following conversions will be helpful. 10 to the 10 angstroms equals 1 meter. Or, uh, let's see what else we got. One meter is also 10 to the 9 picometers, if they give it in picometers. And then one centimeter or, uh, equals 10 to the minus 2 meters, or vice versa. One, one meter is 100 centimeters. Okay? Oh, I, I wrote picometer here. I should have wrote nanometer. Sorry. <laughs> nanometer. One meter is how many, uh, how many picometers? Yeah, yeah, and this one. Okay, do you want me to kind of run through a possible problem? Yes. Okay, let's do that quickly. Possible problem would look like this. Uh, ooh, what would it look like? Somebody give me a metal, a transition metal. Aluminum. Too late, copper. This dude is really fast here. Copper. Okay, and uh, somebody give me a packing structure. Very standard cubic. No. Did I get FCC? FCC, okay. 
You at home can make these up too. I'll just make it up on the spot. Like copper, you pick a pack. If your packing structure did not get picked, you can try it with the, yours. We want to know the density. Okay, so here's what you do. Mass first. Mass is uh, the atoms per unit cell for FCC. What is it? Four. Four. Four atoms per unit cell times one over Avogadro's number. It's 1022 times 10 to the 23rd times the molar mass of copper. That's why we need to know the metal. 63.55 grams per mole. Okay, there's the mass. I've got the top half of my density is mass over volume solids. Now for the bottom half. Volume. Well, FCC, that means you got something in the base like this. And so you got to know that's R. We've got an R here, an R here, an R here. Oh, and this is L and L. If you don't know this, ask me afterwards. But basically, 2L squared is 4R squared, or L is going to be R root 8. So now, we want, if you don't know how to do that, I'd say afterwards and ask me. V, volume is length cubed. So this, you saw this in my table. This is from my table. Okay, I just redrived it. Volume is going to be that cubed. So R cubed times 8 to the 3 halves power. Oh, I, I have to give you an R. Does anybody want to pick an R for us? Okay, it should be around one or two. Okay, so R, one, angstrom. Fourteen's a little high. Okay, one angstrom. So, we'll go volume is one angstrom times, uh, and that's cubed, eight to the three halves. What will I have to do to this? to get a normal density answer. Yeah, I need to convert. This is angstrom's cube. Now make sure you know how to do this conversion. It can be a little tricky. Uh, let's see. 10 to the 10 angstroms is 1 meter. I'm going to try to go to centimeters. And then uh, 1 meter is 100 centimeters. Now. Uh, there's some major issue I have right now. Yeah, these both have to be cubed. So I can have centimeters cubed as my final answer. Most of you, you know, easy to forget not to cube those. Whatever that is, put it on the bottom. Done. You got your volume goes down here, your mass goes up there. Okay? You can find the density of copper for FCC pack. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, the question. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another way to write it. One angstrom is 10 to minus 10 meters, or one meter is 10 to the 10 angstroms. Either way is totally fine. 